guys. Happy Saturday. I hope all is well with you guys. We're good over here. Before I get started, I wanted to say happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you guys. I hope your weekend goes great and I hope you are surrounded with love. So now today's video is going to be just me just picking up around the house. It is the weekend. It is Saturday. I don't want to make the video too long because to be honest, I want to relax and just enjoy my day. But back here if you guys can see yeah that's full of laundry and there's a lot of bags over here on this side that we need to get taken out because i want to go in there wipe the walls down again wipe the window out straighten up the shelves a little bit and then mop and sweep the floor in there so that's what we'll be doing in my pantry i have a couple cabinets at the bottom that i want to clean out and then my lazy susie and then after that we will be finished with the kitchen i'm not sure i might go ahead and sweep and mop in here also just to tidy it all together and get it taken care of but the front door is the main thing that i want to get done on this clean with me because there's a lot of old bike marks from my son's bike that needs to be taken off i'm gonna try to use that dupe for the pink paste that i got from dollar tree hopefully it works on the front door it did a good job on my wall in the hallway so we will see and then i'm not sure what else we I guess we're just gonna have to walk around the apartment and see what else needs to be done. But and yeah. backtracking, we're not finished with the kitchen yet. I will be moving out my refrigerator since I have not done that in a while, sweeping and mopping behind there. So I am going to be needing to sweep and mop my kitchen floor because that's probably a mess by now. But um, I think that's about it today. It's not gonna be a lot, but I still hope you guys get some type of cleaning motivation to take into your space in your home. If you don't wanna clean this weekend, just save my video until the weekday, pop me on your devices and get to cleaning. So we're gonna jump into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. And once again, happy Mother's Day.
right, you guys, those was very important papers. So I wanted to go ahead and just put those in my closet until I get some bins. I have no idea when that's gonna happen, but they was very important and I wanted them out from up underneath the cabinet just in case there's any spills or water that comes in, anything like that. But yeah, that's what they were. So let's go ahead and continue with the cleaning. Okay, you guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. This is beyond disgusting. Dirt, dust, and whatever else is back there. I figured it was going to be really dirty. It's been a few months since I've actually went back there and cleaned it. I didn't realize this much dust um, just collected within a few months, but I guess it does. And that is exactly when I go back to talk about hardwood floors don't get me wrong whoever has them but it's just for me it is just not it's a deal breaker because it's just like especially when you wear shoes in your home you're tracking everything from outside inside that's exactly why i have a no shoe policy in my home but um yeah this is bad this is really bad so we're gonna go ahead and enough chatting and talking and get this cleaned up who we When I got started to go ahead and tackle and get all this laundry out of the pantry, I was in a mild, okay mood. But as the bag seems like they was getting larger, <laughs> the more that I took out, to be honest, you guys, this is ridiculous. I should never have this much laundry. And I feel like the more that I try to get caught up, it's taking me three or four loads backwards. I'm going backwards instead of forwards. So I feel like I want to declutter some of the clothes, even though they don't have any holes or stains. It's a lot, you know, this is a lot for one person to deal with and take on. And it just overwhelms me. Um, it gives me anxiety when I look at how much is truly honestly there. I kind of miss going to the washing machines, the laundromat, because I could take $20 and get three large washers done with the amount, well, actually two, because I went up to $9.50. But the point is I could I could at least get half of this done in one trip. And so me doing my laundry here, which I'm very grateful to have it in my apartment building, it's one washer, one dryer on each floor, and it's $4 total. So if I take five loads, I'm spending way over $25 just to do five loads of laundry. And I have to start early in the morning because if I start later on in the afternoon, I'm gonna be doing laundry half the day and half the night. 
But yeah, I got it finished. I got it taken care of. I just wanted to vent a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind. But sometimes you can't just hold things in. You just have to let it out and just realize, I know I'm not alone in all this, but in this point of time, in this day, in this hour, I'm just really tired and overwhelmed. Jays, I need to get a new shade and a curtain to go in here. Just probably a plain solid color, tan, black, whatever. Um, here are some items that I have on my shelves. I was gonna wipe those down, but it's, it's pretty busy over here and I don't feel like dealing with that. I'm worn out already from cleaning everything out here. But my main reason that I am coming in my pantry is to get these nasty corners. There's dirt and whatever else is on here. Exactly what I'm talking about, smudges on the socket. So just wipe everything down in here and we'll be finished. The laundry is going to stay in my hallway because I'm gonna take a few days and try to get 90% of that done. You guys, probably 20 bags of laundry, it's crazy. It's just a lot on one person. I'm very tired and worn out already. But then also I want to come in here and clean out this um, window. It's an old nasty window. I don't know. I think these are stains from the rain coming in. day was going to go like this. Once I start cleaning, seriously, I just keep cleaning, cleaning, and cleaning. And I know today I wanted it to be my relaxed day, my rest day, because tomorrow is Mother's Day. But that's just me. I don't know why I'm like that, but that is just how it is. But I am forcing myself to stop after this. I am not going to be doing the front door. That will be on the next video. But what I wanted to show you guys, the only thing that I have in this bottle is just bleach, Dawn dish soap, I can't even say that word, <laughs> tongue tied. Dawn dish soap, oh my goodness. Dawn dish soap and then a little bit of water. And this is my backup. I like having this, so this is what you guys seen earlier in my Lazy Susie. But yeah, I'm finished in here. The only thing we have left to do is just mop the floor and travel on to the kitchen, get behind that refrigerator, get that floor done. And this will be the end of the video. <laughs>
Well, I am finished on my end of my to-do list and my cleaning motivation. I hope that you guys was able to tackle your home and get some things done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you are new, subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, take care. Happy Mother's Day, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.